Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today I thought we'd take a look at TK Maxx. So TK Maxx, there is a store near to me in Kings Lynn, and there is a store to me in Norwich, and I do go there every time I do go to those places, and I find an array of weird and wacky home accessories, um, really ornate home decor and these pieces are are different. They're, they're not designed for every household, which is what makes each piece highly unique, <laughs> I must say. Um, there is a TK Maxx group on Facebook that talks about the horrors of TK Maxx, some of the weird, wacky, and less um, desirable home decor that TK Maxx has produced and given out throughout the years. And today we are going to be looking <clears throat> at this home decor. So let me just put it on the screen because we are going to take a look at the TK Maxx home accessories page. So this is stuff to decorate your house. Now whether you have a modern house, a Victorian house, a flat like I have, these accessories are meant to add a certain je ne sais quoi to your flat or your home. Um, so let's take a look at what they have. So we're starting from the lowest priced and we will finish on the most expensive item um, and see what they have. So we're just gonna go row by row and see what catches my eye. So starting off first, you've got the decorations for obviously Easter is coming up. Um, and then you've obviously got Mother's Day coming up as I'm filming this. Um, so you've got all these decorations, as you can see here, eggs and hearts. This little bird is quite cool. This little blue ceramic bird caught my eye, $3.99. Moving on down, you've got more ornaments. You've got little chicks, little bunnies. This is kind of cool, little pom-pom wreath. And £5 for an ornament, I guess, sounds a little expensive, but they are going to be, like, all handcrafted, handmade. Uh, these are quite cool. These, <laughs> this carrot made out of like, I'm guessing three strips of fabric, maybe. Moving on down, <laughs> you've got this blue glass decorative plum. I always thought plums were purple. This one seems to be blue. Obviously, with Mother's Day, you could also buy um, some frames. A frame can paint a picture of a thousand words or whatever it is, a picture holds memories, um, <clears throat> moving them down, more frames, more pictures, more decorations for Easter. <clears throat> this um, Topaz vase is quite nice. I like the shape of it. And obviously at the minute, they TK Maxx does have a tiny sale <clears throat> across some of its home decor. So if you're looking for something specific for that, uh, that Mother's Day or just to brighten up your home. Here we have some little Easter bunnies. Again, reasonably priced. I always assume TK Maxx to be expensive, but I find that mostly <clears throat> TK Maxx is expensive when it comes to clothes, but the rest of their home stuff and all that and the other bits they sell seem to be more relatively priced. Uh, moving on down... <laughs> We've, oh, look at this little lamb. He doesn't look like a lamb. He looks like a gonk, but because he's got no eyes. And here we have a black ladybird gonk. I'm not sure <clears throat> if I'm the only person on the planet who doesn't get the gonk face. Am I a gonk for every season? I'm just... I think they took something that was really popular like a gonk and then they've just completely ruined it. I mean, look, rabbit gonks, bee gonks, I mean, the poor, the poor gonks, but they, they are just all over the place. So more frames, more Easter decorations. Then you get things like candle holders, and they sell some very ornate candle holders. Moving on down, again, you've got like this lotus flower candle holder, which is kind of pretty, would be a great Mother's Day present, especially if you bought a candle to go with it or a couple. These are kind of cool, these little flocked bunnies that you can use all year round, and they're tasteful, so you could just have the bunny on the side all year round. 
Moving on down again, more frames. <clears throat> candlestick holders. I so need to get a candlestick holder, but I want it in black. I do have some long tapered candles that I haven't yet used. Moving on down, you get more and more Easter. Hopefully, we'll be out of the Easter stuff soon. But you have an array of Easter, whether you want a traditional Easter, a more out there Easter. Um, <clears throat> things like this are kind of cool. The little garlands that you can just put up in your house. Or, as I said, the uh, moth bunnies. Then you've got little buckets if you're planning an Easter egg hunt or something like that. My boys are too old for stuff like that. Now, my youngest will be 14 on the 10th of March. Um, whether this goes up before then, I don't know. But he's a bit old for a Easter egg hunt. This is kind of cool. I do think this paperweight's kind of cool. The the whole swirly design is actually kind of cool and kind of unique. I think that's kind of cool. And with it being eight pounds as well, it's a bargain price. Moving on down, you've got more glass vases, more photo frames. Hopefully, we're going to get into the weirder stuff as we go up. Here we have like a marble lidded tin made in India. Mm. Okay, moving on down, you've got things like glitter globes for Easter. See, they've also ruined snow globes because now you can get a snow globe all year round. Um, here we have a bunny flying a plane. You could ask why, but I don't think I'd have an answer for you. Um, then you've got like these crown hooks, which are kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of like um, Bridgerton or the crown. Um Moving on down, another one of those lotus candle holders, or you can have something more tasteful with an ornate bunny. Um, moving on down, you've got this armorilli arrow. I don't know much about this, but these ducks are quite cute with their little umbrellas. Um, moving on down, more ornate candlestick holders. <clears throat> this bunny ornament is quite cool. Uh, I believe it's glass as well. I'm, I'm, yeah, blue glass as well. Uh, moving on down, more glass bunnies, more gonks. <clears throat> this <laughs> navy ceramic spiky vase is is different. You maybe you'd have to be careful if you had kids or pets in your house. Uh, this is the blue patterned jar and lid. This is actually kind of cool. I did see one of these similar in a TK Maxx near me. Um, I don't know what you'd put in them, maybe tea leaves or something, or maybe, I don't know, let me know what you'd put in one of these, like, Japanese, I suppose that's like a Japanese tea jar, um, you've got a telescope as well, some people put them on their bookshelves, um, especially if they travel a lot, <clears throat> moving on down, you've got, like, these little wooden decorative houses, They've got little chickens and everything. It's pretty cool. And as I said, they've got kind of a sale on. Um, more bunnies. This one's kind of cool. I do like the idea of a driftwood bunny. That's, in my eyes, is more tasteful. And you've got mother and baby. So what you could do for this is you could give it to your mother for Easter. Or you could give it to Mother's Day if you've just had a little baby or something like that. Moving on down, we've got some meerkats. Um, more glass vases, if you're a vase fan. This one is kind of weird. Again, I'm not sure about the spiky vase thing, but each to their own. Um, moving on down, you get to the more weird ornaments, um, the higher in price you go. You've got these bookends, which are kind of cool. Do people use bookends anymore? Is bookends like a Victorian thing? Do people still have bookends in their homes? Um, possibly, I guess, would be the answer. These are also quite cool, these little hurricane lanterns. I used to have a lantern on the side of my room that I used to have a candle in quite often. Um, moving down, you've got things like egg timers, more bunnies. Again, TK Maxx's home decor is, is unique in some respect. Um, a white marble snail, a, a Fabergé kind of egg. I mean, do these fit in a modern day house? Do these fit in today's world as home decor? I don't know. 
I mean, my home decor is kind of mishmash, but that's because my flats are work in progress um, and isn't done yet <clears throat> due to moving during the P word. Um, <clears throat> these are also kind of cool. These, like, um, weird, I mean, they've got little faces on, and this one's got the Easter egg, uh, Easter island head, not Easter egg. Uh, you've got more bunnies. You've got a reef with Easter eggs. <clears throat> Uh, moving on down, you get more and more weirder as you go. Um, something like this, silver tone ornament. Anyone want to want describe what that is? Because I have no idea. Um, answers on a postcard. Uh, moving on down, you get really ornate things like this, Armel ornament and stuff. I don't know whose house these fit in, Um but I'm sure someone out there appreciates the effort and time that's gone into making stuff like this. Like this one, the black knot ornament. Maybe you have um, a son in the Boy Scouts. Maybe you have a partner in the Royal Navy, I guess. Use it as a, a background ornament. Um, I don't know. You've got a globe. A lot of people do have globes in their house, though. I have noticed. Um, globes... I've always been like a home decor for like people that travel the world or people that want to go on adventures or have that really adventurous streak. Or you do find them quite a lot in houses of the older gentlemen. Here we have more Easter, more of these uh, metal candle holders. Jewelry boxes are also uh, usually found in TK Maxx, not necessarily in store. Um, I don't get this either. These are posing arm humans. I don't know. TK Maxx's home decor, it's, it's different. You, you can't dispute the fact that they push the boundaries of art. And this is like a brown golden eel. I, I, why you'd need a brown golden eel as a decoration, I don't know. But someone's going to tell me that it's wonderful. It's amazing. <clears throat> and as I said, there is a TK Maxx horror page. Um, I will link it down below where you can go there and people around the country Take pictures of the weird and wonderful things they find in TK Maxx. And these items are items where you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them. Um, and I will link the group down below. Because if you like TK Maxx like me and you shop there quite a lot or you just go to browse and look at the stuff and go, why? Just why? Know that in the, the group that I'm in, there are actually people that like some of the horrendous stuff. There are some people that are like, I need that in my house. And you're like, dear God, why? Um, just why? What does it go with? Does it color coordinate? What theme do you have in your house where that would fit? Um, but I digress. Everyone can decorate their home how they want. And that is the, the beauty being able to decorate your own home. I mean, look at this, a silver tone Kiwi bookend. At what point would that fit in your home decor unless you, like, lived in Australia? Um, just saying. Okay, moving on down, you've got things like this elephant. It's a black elephant head hand, hand, head candlestick holder. Again, TK Maxx art pieces are decorative, they're inspiring, they're unique, they don't suit everybody's decor, and I guess that's what makes the piece unique, that if you take that piece home, it's designed for your house, because you're the person that picked it up compared to anybody else. Um, I just don't get art, maybe. So this is a gold tone wobbly structure. I don't know what your home decor would have to be for this to suit. Um, let me know if you have a home decor that would suit a wobbly structure. Um, <clears throat> as I said, each piece is unique to the person that picks it up because they have decided that they needed a black ball swinging on a stand. 
they obviously decided that fit with their decor, it fit with their color scheme, it fit the tone of the house, the room, the people living there, and they needed to buy it. The question I'd like them to put on a postcard is why? <laughs> because I look at some of this stuff and I'm like, that would just look so weird um, in my house like this. This gold wavy leaf dish, what would you use it for? Would you put wax fruit on it? Would you put creatures on it of some description? Um, quite a lot of people also have Buddhas in their house. Obviously, uh, the Buddha is a religious figure, um, as well as people having things like crosses um, and Bibles. <clears throat> And as I said, art is different to everybody. Like this textured pineapple ornament or a boma mask or needing to have these trees, which are actually kind of nice. Um, or a multicolored poodle for £39. I mean, no one's telling you you can't have these things. I just question artistic taste sometimes in in items and i could be wrong i could be wrong but we are now going to look at the most expensive item on the website and that is this blue and gold tone hindu dancer reduced from 999 pounds and 99 pence or 899 pounds sorry to 432 with an RIP of 2,925 pounds, saving you 242,493 pounds. So this is the most expensive ornament they have on the website anyway, for 432 pounds. And the second most is this, I'm guessing it's bronze horse on a base, for 96 which is also reduced from 199 pounds so let me know down below what do you think of tk maxx's home accessories would you buy any of these could you see any of these fitting in that corner of your room or anything like that i also want to take a look at that art sometime i don't know if tk much does much in the the art world um let me see if I was to look up uh, pictures, maybe, or art. I don't know if they come up with anything <clears throat> necessarily. Um, I don't know if TK Maxx is, yeah, they don't really do um, like wall art, I don't believe. Um, I don't think they do much art. I don't think oh they do they do some wall art so maybe um i could do a review of their art because some of this again is just very very different very unique so if you want me to do a review of tk maxx's artwork let me know down below share with me what item you would purchase from this video was it the blue vase? Was it the eel? Was it the Easter stuff that caught your eye? Let me know down below if you buy any of this. Um, apart from maybe the candle holders, I couldn't see any of that fitting in my decor. Um, but if you want to see more of these, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. donating to paypal or you can become a member if you also want to give us a big thumbs up that would be amazing i will leave the group down below to the tk max horror group where we put all our terrible finds in and other people seem to like them which is strange but if you want to see more remember big thumbs up like subscribe and i will see you very soon for another video take care and thanks for watching bye guys